Nitrogen. Atomic number seven on the periodic table is an essential element to life on Earth as it plays a major role in building structures and molecules we need to survive. Nitrogen exists in many different forms, which are all interrelated in one of the most important biogeochemical processes on our planet, the nitrogen cycle. Most nitrogen exists as nitrogen gas in our atmosphere, but it can also be found dissolved in the ocean. For most organisms, the triple bond in nitrogen gas is hard to break, but not for certain bacteria which can break the bond and add hydrogen to create ammonium. This ammonium can be taken up by some species of microscopic plants called phytoplankton. For those who can't use the nitrogen and ammonium, bacteria take the ammonium and add oxygen, creating first nitrite and then nitrate in a process called nitrification. This nitrate can then be used by other species of phytoplankton. Larger organisms such as fish and whales take in nitrogen by eating these phytoplankton. Eventually, both the plankton and the animals will die and sink to the ocean floor, where they will be decomposed by bacteria into ammonium for continued use in the cycle. Usually, the nitrogen cycle functions very well on its own. However, humans have had an impact beyond nature's capacity. Chemists have developed fertilizers which fix unusable nitrogen into a usable version, which is good for farmers, but not if they use too much. This leftover fertilizer gets swept into groundwater, lakes, and rivers, and eventually makes its way to the ocean. All this extra nitrogen overwhelms the cycle and depletes the oxygen in the ocean. A lack of oxygen dramatically affects the ecology and fisheries of the affected region as fish and other animals need to breathe oxygen to survive. Additionally, humans add a large amount of nitrous oxide into the atmosphere through various practices such as emissions from automobiles, home furnaces, factories, and power plants. The more nitrogen that gets released into the atmosphere means more gets washed down in rainstorms and overwhelms the balance of the nitrogen cycle. So what can we do to minimize our impact? We can develop better farming practices so less fertilizer makes its way into our water sources. As individuals, we can limit our emissions by turning off lights and appliances to save electricity, turning down our heating and cooling systems, and finding alternate methods of transportation and energy. All of these small actions add up to make a big impact and help keep Mother Nature running for many years to come. <laughs>